Hey everybody, I'm Chris Myers. This and is Tom Avaco. Yeah, I'm Tom Avaco. Sorry, Tom, to cut you off. We're the Grey Goose Squad. We are um, we are here to um, talk about AI and have some fun about with it. Um, we thought one of the most funnest parts of AI is having it draw images. So we thought we'd talk about this episode, talking about uh, AI generation of images. Um, uh, you might have been hearing in the headlines, like Google has been uh, having some trouble with AI images. Um, like if you draw, if you ask Google Gemini to draw a picture of Nazis, they draw, uh, they dr might draw Nazis with Asians and, and Africans or African Americans. So who knows what they're going to throw in there? Indians, if you ask for, um, founding fathers, they're going to throw a bunch of people in there. So what not more an entertaining uh, aspect or an entertaining way to see how AI has come along than to let's, let's have some fun with some images. How about, how about, how about yourself, Tom? Uh, yes, uh, actually, yeah, I was just uh, reading about uh, image problems with AI and uh, found something from last summer that uh, showed it was having particular trouble with uh, teeth <laughs> and hands uh, yeah. with some pretty disturbing images of people who have like, you know, three rows of teeth in their in their mouths we could uh, probably do a whole episode on hands i think that's <laughs> yes. an episode like we, we should we should judge all the different ai and how they draw hands so i think yeah. we'll not mark that down on the uh on the agenda we'll have to get uh george costanza as the hand model <laughs> yeah exactly or he'll, he'll go into depth on man hands we <laughs> could possibly have ai draw man hands and see what <laughs> see what happens that's the famous one uh the famous episode one of the famous episodes <laughs> so i thought why don't we um oh by the way we we can't say that we are the best people with ideas um you all out there have great ideas too so we have our email address graygoosequad at gmail.com if you have episodes ideas send them if you run episode ideas through ai and recommend it to us send them um basically send us anything and um and our two followers, um, Tom's aunt and my sister. <laughs> when you're hearing this, feel free to ask us anything. And if you <laughs> feel free to send this to your friend, uh, Beth and Tom's aunt, because um, we want more than two subscribers at this point. So um, anyway, email us at Grey Goose Squad. We'll put that up on the pause the video if you want to write this down. But don't interrupt us. So Grey Goose Squad at gmail.com. And uh, so, so, so let's get into some image entertainment. Um, so here's what I thought. I thought, why don't we take something niche, and why don't we look it up? So on, I have on the my other YouTube channels about combine derby and how tos. So I thought, what would be more niche than having AI generate a combine derby image? And so let's make it even. Let's let's. Let's start with just uh, the general. So um, let's go ahead and all right. Let's see what happens with Gemini. This is Gemini first. Let's see what it does. Gemini, with some of my testing so far, has um, looked a little bit better than some of the other sites that we might test. Well, look at this. It's better than uh... <laughs> we. Okay, let's. We'll be honest, Tom. We tried recording this last week, and because <laughs> of our audio setup, it's not that Tom doesn't have anything good to say. Um, <laughs> he wasn't recorded in it at all, and so we're sort of surprised that this is much closer to a combine derby than what we got last week. That's not bad. No, that that looks legitimately. So while you're doing that, I'm going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to ask it to describe a picture of a combine derby. Okay. So this isn't, this isn't bad. Oh, wow. I'm getting a very long description. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to plug this in to one of the image uh, generating AIs that I have up and uh, if the results are worth it, I will share my screen. 
I didn't copy the whole command over. Draw me a picture. Okay, we can stop responding. I know a little bit about combine derbies. Well, and I'm, <laughs> I've already run out of my free images, I guess. <laughs> the one I was going to use. What? Yeah. Now Copilot is saying I can't do that. <laughs> I this is this is really strange because when we recorded this last time we got combine derby pictures and but I'm unable to create visual images of drawing. What well that's bizarre because I just did uh an image on copilot and didn't have a problem. Ooh. Wow. Uh do you want to share your screen? Yeah, I, well, I, I don't know what's going on here. This is all part of the fun. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me share my screen. Make it bigger. May need you to do it since for Oops. some reason, maybe they've already caught on that we're laughing at it. Whoa. <laughs> yes, exactly. Holy uh, mackerel. Let me see if I can pull up one of these bigger. Yeah, so first of all, I asked chat GPT, uh, uh, describe a picture of a combine derby. And it uh -huh. came back with this multi-paragraph description. Warm summer day, yep. crowds of people gathered, and oops. And then it produced these images. Uh, <laughs> that's Well, the combines are not bad, uh, kind of threatening to the crowd. <laughs> Well, those are like ones plucked from the field. They haven't been prepped. And in some combine derbies, those are corn headers on there. They're not allowed. Those are actually forest harvesters, which are not combines. But I love that double-decker combine in the back with a disassociated headers and those people somehow meandering inside of it. And impressive crowds again, Chris. Are, are the crowds this big at your combine derbies? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. The, the 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 one at Monroe is usually pretty good, but um, not that. We're, that's like probably like easily twenty thousand people. I, I'd say so. Let me try the next. Uh... I don't know what's up with these circles threatening the crowds. <laughs> Yeah, so those those combines that are facing the crowd are actually in a very vulnerable position because you're supposed to take out the rear tires. So we're going to have to give some feedback on this. Um, to uh, we're going to have to give some feedback on this. Yeah, I'm not sure Copilot has actually attended a combine derby yet. I think there was one more. Yeah, similar pictures with all this. Uh... Yeah, yeah it's weird. It's almost um I mean, so I what's interesting, what I might do, I don't know if I have time to do this. I might actually get the recording from last time and post paste in some photos that it drew for us last time. And some of the ones last time are really bizarre. Like one of them was like monster trucks and a bunch of people holding a cameras, like everyone was holding cameras. And it was really, really bizarre. And so it maybe it just it's 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 interesting that it is it has actually gotten better. The combines are much better than last time. So, so and that's a week. That's weird. Right. That's is a very interesting observation. I guess it just goes to show we should never screw up. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes. then we'll lose our opportunity to have fun. Yeah, or we just go without my audio. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And it could just be we could have AI dub in what Tom's saying. That might be worth an episode <laughs> too. <laughs> um, all right, so let's do this. Um let's just do a try a picture of a combine derby in a field of marmots. Let's see what we got. It was sort of weird that Gemini didn't want to draw more pictures of the Combine Derby, but I would have to say the Gemini one seemed a little bit more realistic um, compared to last time. But overall, you know, get on a scale of things, I think uh, G this week Gemini is winning the Combine Derby picture competition. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to plug that same uh, GPT output describing the Combine Derby into Dolly 2 and see 
Oh, you can't. It's it's too long. Well, let me see what it comes up with. And if it's worthwhile, I will share my screen again. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't able to generate the images that you requested. Yeah, I think they're onto us, Tom. Yeah. Uh, hmm, I'm not uh, Dolly to uh, uh, not the best output. It's like almost pictures of combines, but it's not a derby. It's like threshing in the field, if that's what they do. This is funny. Like last time it was so fun because they were actually doing this. And then all, now all of a sudden they've become shy and uh, they've become twice shy. So darn it, we, we've got to get ahead of these trends. Indeed. So, <laughs> so um, what, let's ask uh, Gemini about, um, let's ask him about some food because um, we heard that some of these uh, recipe sites are actually using generative AI to put together pictures of um, recipes. So, um, do you have what? 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 what um, do you remember what the turducken one was? Yeah. Well, so I uh, let me let me have Chat GPT do this again. So, describe a picture of a turducken. Or duck and meal with all the trimmings. And I get back again. Chat GPT uh, is kind of verbose. Get back a very. Hey, why don't you share your screen? I think we could get both of them together. Let's try that. We can turn up. We can turn um, turn myself off. Let's see. What is it I'm sharing here? And then we can pull you up next to this. It might be a little bit smaller, but I think we can get it to work. Sorry, I wasn't able to generate the images you requested. Oh, Tom, what is going on? How can we laugh yeah. at generative AI when it's no longer giving us pictures? This is going to be challenging. And I need to set up uh, that art breeder AI uh, is one that we want to try, but I have to create an account. So I'm, but I'm going to plug in uh, Chat GPT's description of the turducken meal into Copilot, and we'll see what it produces. Oh. <laughs> what in the yeah, GPT? <laughs> oh my gosh! It's like it's like rolls built in, rolls made out of turducken. Yeah, well, that looks sort of looks delicious. <laughs> oh, an angry. I'm gonna make that a little turducken. bit bigger. Hold on, I want to see what Gemini has first. Oh my gosh, this is. Gemini is really struggling with these pictures today, which is so interesting. Oh, we got some output. Hold on. Let's take oh no, something went wrong. I don't know what to say, Tom. I'm gonna to try to create uh an account in real time. I'm gonna ask it to draw me a picture of a taco. Let's just go basic and start a ba baseline here. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do anything, Gemini? <laughs> Are you seriously that freaked out? Is Gemini an image generating AI? Yeah. I mean, yes, it, it's part of its features. But this was this was before <laughs> the, the storm. Okay, so it can do tacos. All right, so it's definitely, it definitely does. This taco does look delicious, by the way. Um, okay, so we have a baseline that it can do a taco. But for some reason, it doesn't want to do turducken. Am I spelling turducken right? Turducken. I hope he thinks I'm trying to make fun of something.
Oh, okay. I spelled it wrong. I, yeah. it's wrong. I think I have an account back in Art Breeder. So let me see if I can. Oh, Turducken with the trimmings. You got one? I prompted it. Let's see. Oh. Oh my gosh, what is going on with these legs? <laughs> They're like wiry. This does look sort of delicious. This one specifically. Turducken meal with the trimmings. So, oh, what is this? This is Dolly? This is your Dolly combines? Okay. Yeah, they are in the field. Yeah, and that's the way with Indian. <laughs> Those are Indian combines. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what that means. And I, uh, yes, I'm going to uh, create the turducken again in in Art Breeder because it came back with a pretty bad image last time. Okay. And let me see what happens here. Oh, also disturbing. Uh, I have to, <laughs> I have to change. Uh, give me one second to stop sharing and and share a different screen. Okay. Let's see what you got. So this is the turducken from Art Breeder. Also, the rolls built very, in. very rollish. For some reason, they seem to be on rolls, a roll roll this week. Yeah. Now, uh, before we started recording, I was testing out this Art Breeder AI, and I I just generated twice the with the same input, and it gave me different images. So let me see what happens if I try this again. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, that one looks like a pumpkin roll. <laughs> yeah. And that one's that one on the top is like a a uh uh an outback steakhouse blooming up. Yes, a, a blooming turducken. <laughs> Let me try a third time and see what it gives us. I wonder if it's like <laughs> that oh, is these a fine are... tucked up blooming onion. <laughs> and that's like a loaf of bread with turkey characteristics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is We'll give it that a four. Is a funny <laughs> turkey characters. Oh, this is <laughs> that almost looks like a lobster turkey. Oh, that could be delicious. I'm not going to discount that. <laughs> well, um, this one's fast, at least. Oh, it gives me more. Yeah, it is rendering it fast. Oh, it just keeps adding on top. All right, well, try once more. <laughs> see. Ah, then that's not it. That's like sushi turducken. <laughs> Well, I think we've we've broken the gates open of turducken at this point. I think all of a sudden AI is playing along. Yeah. So I I guess that's a good thing, right? Well, it's that's some questionable. weird stuff. Yeah. Once again, this looks like a like a salmon slice of turducken. Yeah, that does look like some evil house in some Star Wars movie. Yeah. Yeah, with the like, I think it was that out. place in Boba Fett actually, where <laughs> Boba was living, just as a created as a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's interesting. So well, let me let me give it the combine input uh, that we that I had from Chat GPT. Combine derby again, since it's now decided to serve me turducken, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah. Of a combine derby in a field permits. Let's see if it let's see if Oops. we've broken it free of its chains. Oh, we got it. For some reason. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at this, the Combine Derby. Those are sort of cute. Now, it's not a derby. They're just combining with marmots, which is technically the French name for a woodchuck. But um, Okay. The, from last, compared to last week, these 
seem a little bit more friendly, less morbid of basically marmots going into the combine at that point. So I will say that it has improved. <laughs> and it's sort of weird that it took two requests to actually do that. But okay, well, I'll take it. I'm just going to generate some more just for the fun of it. Yeah. Let me just see if it does a combine derby because it wouldn't do that very well before. Are you seeing this combine derby from Art Reader? Holy mackerel. <laughs> yes. That one looks like, wait, why are all the people in the middle? <laughs> why are the people herded? There's there's a common theme here. Hold on. I don't think that that's a combine derby. I think that's the end of humanity. <laughs> and I think that they have, they're actually poisoning all of humanity. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to try again because this thing uh, spits out images quickly. And this was a field of marmots? What was this? No, this was... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I love the Ferris wheel. It's like something that was in Mortal Engines. or. Oh whatever. my gosh, and this is like a... It's scary. That's Star like Wars. Or something. Holy cow. Uh, no, this was the, so I asked chat GPT to describe a combine derby and it came back with its, you know, very long book length uh, description. Imagine a bustling county fairground on a warm summer day with crowds of people gathered around a large dirt arena. And then it goes on. Okay. <laughs> and then I use that input. This is like a train. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do it again. I love the tents though. The tent and Ferris wheel. It's like getting a fair mixed up. <laughs> can't tell what's going on with that one there's no i think it's, it's a little too big of a grand scale like there's never a machine that's ever this big and this is a motorcycle and it went to black and white this looks like something from china like that's yeah. one of the public parades from china yes yeah you're right all right, well, let's let's try this because with Google having its AI stuff last week, let's try in Gemini. Let's try to ask it because it was drawing pictures of like when you put in founding fathers, it was adding people that were never founding fathers or Nazis or whatever. So let's try this. Let's say draw us a picture of Taco Bell. So let's see if, um, let's get you normal sized again. Unlike the uh, chat GPT, which had you add the uh, stuff fairly big. All right, so let's do this. Let's uh, let's say, draw me a picture of a Taco Bell meal. Let's see if it can do this right. Yeah, last week was a little disturbing. This could be newsworthy, Tom. <laughs> it, if it puts in like uh, corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> That or we may get jobs at Taco Bell if this works out well. Oh, wow. Look at this. It even has the Taco Bell logo yeah, on the cup. And this is much better than it was last year. <laughs> this is much better than it was it's learning last year. quickly. We may have to do an episode where we may have to have like a segment of every episode where we test. So maybe what we should do is we should test draw a picture of a Taco Bell meal every week. Yeah, and see how much better it is. how it improves. Yeah. So it's definitely not putting in any cabbage or corned beef um, in, in honor of St. Patrick's Day. And yes. the food here does look very delicious. Um, someone's going to get fired because these toppings were spilled out of the shell. <laughs> um, but these do look somewhat delicious. Like, I'm getting hungry right now. <laughs> now, I'm going to just for... For kicks, ask Chat GPT to describe a Taco Bell meal. Okay. Describe an image. I'll ask Gemini. Let's... A Taco Bell meal. So I think we can, all the news media can report that unlike Nazis or founding fathers, asking for a Taco Bell meal is truly on task. Yeah, and I even task. see the fat. I even see the saturated fat in those photos. Not yet uh, asking about combine derbies or turducken meals, though. <laughs> no. No, and if Taco Bell does want to sponsor us, please email us at um, that email, greatgoosequad at gmail.com. We are looking for sponsors. <laughs> we'll even, we won't laugh at you. We'll change our, our queries, too, if you're going to sponsor us. 
So here's this is they've got a bunch of uh, typical Taco Bell meal packs a punch of flavor and customization. Here's what you may find: main course tacos, burritos, specialties. I'm not going to read everything. Nachos, cheesy Fiesta potatoes, chips and salsa, fountain drinks, extra. Don't forget the sauces. This is almost like an advertisement. I wonder this is how these companies are going to get money is by having Taco Bell put in this prompt. When somebody asks for a Taco Bell meal, they're going to put in this like prompt that makes me want to go out and buy Taco Bell. So what did this is that's Gemini. What did uh, what's this talk chat GPT have to say? Well, yeah, let me share my screen again. Uh, I'll try a few images. Let's see. So first of all, uh, Chad GPT, I said, please describe a taco, an image of a Taco Bell meal. And it came back again with a, a long description. Uh, Artbreeder.com seems to ignore all of the description input. Uh, <laughs> it gives us, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, Tricky Bill. Bill. <laughs> Tricky Bills. Tricky Bills. We need to trademark all these names that we come up with. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> And I'm not even sure what it is on the top here. Uh, I have no clue. Yagawa. I think those are nachos, but I'm not quite sure. That almost looks like our lunch in school, where <laughs> yeah. it could have been a bunch of different things, like either nachos or Salisbury steak. They all look the same. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what this is, is that? That's terrible. That's, <laughs> I mean, the description is not bad. Taco Bell. The, the description includes at the forefront of the tray is a duo of tacos. They're golden shells, cradling a symphony of flavors. This, <laughs> that's not a symphony of flavors, I don't think. No. This, this one is, uh, that's better. So again, getting back to the sushi thing, this is much like sushi a lot. <laughs> yeah. Whoever designed these like sushi, I believe. What in the, oh, <laughs> this is. Uh, that doesn't look editable. Oh, I that, do like the hamburger type that motif. meat. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yes, I can see it. Ah, uh, that definitely looks. But I'm I'm a little disturbed at what looks like to be the Japanese seat cover cushion <laughs> yeah. on top of the meal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't go back that way. Oh man, that is. That's and this one is. Uh, I can't tell what that is. You know what? That is actually a really good idea. A burrito taco that's combined into one thing. We yeah, have... yeah. Open, yes. Or is it that you can sure. So you basically have both things at one time. Like, I'm <laughs> sure they could engineer that as like some sort of shell. It's like a combination soft. You know what? We can actually fold a soft taco shell that way. Yeah, we're yeah, inventing we, new we things. We need to trademark this stuff, Tom. We we need to make a new segment of what are we trademarking today to creating foods. Uh, that one is uh, uh, we're on the Sufi motif, uh, motif, and definitely even Japanese writing. It's pretty <laughs> yeah. strange. All right, well, I think that's that's going to wind us up for this episode. So we, I'm getting hungry too. So um, <laughs> this might be a good segue into um into where we into into um where we need to go for next time so for those of you out there that have other ideas um feel free to send them in our gmail account i'll just put that on the screen one more time not because i think it's i think it's cool because now we can do it um pause it if that was too quick for you and uh um and uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we don't know what we're going to talk about on the next episode, but maybe with your ideas or with, um, or maybe we'll even have the episode, we'll ask AI to make the episode for us live <laughs> and you'll see how that goes. It could be either the most brilliant thing on earth or the worst thing on earth. So, so with that said, we'll sign off. Uh, don't forget to like this video subscribe and press the bell button to get notifications of our um, new episodes and tell um, all your family members yes yes and definitely um uh, beth um send this out to some other friends so we can get at least five subscribers by next week so and tom definitely send an email out to the family email thread so with that said we'll see you until next time <laughs>